This video will show how to install Homebrew without sudo privileges. So what is the problem? Suppose you want to install Homebrew using the default command. You will open up terminal on the macOS and just paste in the command. However, if you're not the administrator, terminal will not let you run installation of Homebrew. So what you instead do is have to find some way to install Homebrew without using sudo or without administrative privileges, assuming you don't have the password. A quick Google search turns up this super user question, which says installing Homebrew without sudo privileges. And thanks to this user who answered this problem, he linked a web page also by the Homebrew website which shows how you can do this installation without sudo, which I will be following. So I'll just simply copy this command. And paste it in. And as you see, currently there's this new homebrew folder, which contains the homebrew installation. And then I'll just copy the second command here and paste it in. After we've installed Homebrew on our computer without using sudo, we still need some easy way to access it. Standard installation with sudo allows you to call Homebrew using simply the brew command. But for our non-standard installation, we need to type the entire path of the Homebrew binary, which is homebrew slash bin slash brew. Now this isn't really convenient and we want to have the same functionality as the standard homebrew installation. So to achieve this, I'll modify the startup script for Z shell. So a startup script is something that the terminal runs before a window launches. So if you have a new terminal that launch, it will run that script before you see anything on the screen. And that file is located in the home directory and it's called zish rc so this is the file and i want to modify it so i'll open it up using text edit dash a represents the application we want to use and then text edit dot app is the app that we want to use I click enter and then it pops up the zshrc file. So how should we modify the start script so that we can call homebrew without typing the entire path? Well, that's easy. Let's just modify the path that the computer searches for its binaries. So there's this global variable called path and it's basically a colon separated list. Let me show you right here. So I can call echo path and you can see the global variable currently stores this path. It's a colon separated list of directories that the computer will search in order from left to right. And if there's a binary within a certain folder, it will use the binary within that folder and whichever folder or whichever binary comes first will have precedence. So let's say you have two folders with the same binary it will use the binary that comes first in the path. So we want to have this directory in our path as well. Well, not the entire part because brew is the actual script or the command name. We simply want the directory that contains it. So we'll type path equals to homebrew slash bin. And let's not forget to type the home directory because Currently, we're in the home directory. 
but this will change the path so that it no longer references the original path. We still want to keep the original path, so we'll add a colon and then type dollar sign path so that it appends the original path to the new path. And then we'll call export. So this is what the final command looks like. Then I'll just save this file, close it. And because that was a startup script, I'll have to relaunch my terminal window to see the effect. Now when I call which brew, it shows me that the homebrew install is installed within this location. And you see that I've made a mistake by including a forward slash at the end. So let's go back and change it. There should be no forward slash at the very end. Okay. I relaunch and then I do which brew. And now you see that it successfully finds the directory that our binary was installed in. And now in the terminal, I can simply call brew without typing the entire path.